Are you in every way woman? Coming up next is our very own Madison talking with the doctors from Finesse about the mental benefits of plastic surgery. Some people think that plastic surgery are for those people who don't want to get old, but for others, the psychological benefits outweigh any other reason. Today we have Dr. Justin West and his partner, Dr. Gown from Finesse, to tell us about the psychological benefits of plastic surgery. So, Dr. West, yes. there are some obvious reasons why some women might want to get plastic surgery, but what would be some other things in plastic surgery that people can get that aren't so obvious? That's a good question. I think that you know, people often focus on um, the, the physical results that you're going to get, but a huge part of, of what we do in plastic surgery is focusing on, on the emotional um, uh, and psychological components behind it. So, for example, people will come in and they're self-conscious about a feature, right. um, and, and they'll they'll come in talking about their nose or their face or their body, uh, and inevitably during the course of the conversation, in, in determining what they want to do, it comes back to the I don't feel comfortable when I go out looking like this. They don't like looking at a feature in the mirror. Right. So when you have a client that comes to you like that and they're considering plastic surgery, do you have them go through a type of um, testing or? Do you have them fill out a questionnaire? How do you determine if it's well, going to be beneficial to them? Our process is a lot more informal than that. There are certainly practices that, that I'm aware of that do something a bit more formal, mm -hmm. but it's, it's absolutely one of the most important parts in, uh, of the assessment of plastic surgery is to determine is somebody psychologically a good candidate for surgery. You want to make sure that the person is stable, that they don't have issues with depression. So it's absolutely mm -hmm. a, a big part of the screening that we do, but we don't have a formalized process for okay. it. Okay. So if someone, let's say, is depressed, do you ever look on... Um, do you have, when they fill out a form, do you look for medications that they might be on? Is that kind of a big signal? Well, it's certainly something that we look at. You know, you know, plastic surgery is just like any other type of medicine in which when somebody comes into practice for the first time, we do a general medical assessment. We ask their, uh, we take a very thorough medical history because we're trying to determine is, is, is the person a safe candidate ultimately for some sort of surgical procedure or non-surgical procedure. So safety is always uh, mm -hmm. one of the, the top priority. Um, have you had anyone come into your practice that you thought might have um, had a great change after a procedure? Absolutely. You know, patients, um, they tend to be very straightforward with their response. If people come in and whether it's the day after or a month later or a year later, people are, uh, are usually very, they love to share their experience with a plastic surgeon. Just the beginning of their journey, they share their, their disappointment in a facial feature or their, their lack of confidence because of a certain feature. Uh, and they're, they're usually uh, overwhelming in terms of the amount of information that they'll share. Uh, they like to share their joy associated with this transformation. And we've got all kinds of examples that we could you know, share with you about that. So right from the beginning, mm -hmm. you have people, people you've never met before, you don't know, come in and then they will just open it all out on the table, just lay it out on you and go, I am unhappy with this. Well, a big part of our job is to create an environment of comfort. People, it's a very personal uh, thing. People are coming in and they're sharing their thoughts, they're, they're sharing their concerns, they're sharing themselves without clothes on. And it's, a, it's a very intimate relationship and a really important part of our job is to create an environment in which they, the patient can feel very secure and confident in themselves. Uh, otherwise, they don't have that ability to share their concerns uh, fully and we can't really establish what their true desires are. Okay. Well, what would you consider a really big success story? I, do you have an experience with someone where they came back six months or a year later and they weren't not just physically the same person that walked in the door, but really on a, on a psychological level, we a have, different person? We have stories like that every day. I, I'll relate a, a young patient just from last week. It was a woman that came in. She was very self-conscious about her breasts, not only for breast size, but the fact that they had dropped and she didn't feel like she had the fullness to look good in clothing, to look out. So she came in with her shoulders hunched forward. We take before and after pictures so you can see it in her face. When we take the initial shots, we take the picture of the patient's face looking forward and then the rest of the body. So eyes were averted, looking down, hunched over like this. And only one week later, after a lift and an augmentation, it's an entirely new person. Mm -hmm. Bright eyed, looking straight out, big smile, shoulders put, put back in a nice posture. and. That part was also demonstrated not only by her, 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 the way she physically presented, but the way she interacted with other people around us, or her friends that came in with her for the consultation. Oh, wow. She and brought a whole entourage. She, she brought her family. She brought her friends. And she wanted to share her story with every single one of my uh, office staff members. So mm -hmm. it's, it's a, a definite experience that happens over and over again. It's not an uncommon thing to, to, to occur on a daily basis. And how does that make you feel, uh, taking someone through that transformation? That's, I mean, that's, that's the, one of the best parts about what we do. Mm -hmm. It's not just taking 
A and going to B and creating something. It's getting that response and transforming that person's entire psyche, not just their body. Yeah. It's definitely the most rewarding part of what we do. I mean, the letters that we get from patients are really touching. Um, you realize that the impact you have isn't just a physical one, but a psychological one. Um, you know, we have story after story of patient coming in saying, I used to hate going out in public. I used to hate going out to bars. I used mm -hmm. to feel like people were looking at me and laughing at me. Um, and then the confidence that they describe afterwards, I'm finally able to date or I'm finally able to go out and put a bathing suit on. You know, it's really touching. We have letters that will bring a tear to your eye. They're just, it's, it's a really powerful uh, experience to go through. All right. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Justin West and Dr. Gown. Um, plastic surgery is something we all have thought about at one point or another. We may have uh, thought about it in a physical, psychological way. And I want to thank you for being here and showing us what some of the psychological benefits are. Thanks for having us. Thank you.